Welcome Ascension family. It is my honor and privilege to introduce you to the Reverend Dr. John Stevenson, our interim rector. We thought that this um, interview and this format would uh, give you um, a glimpse of who Reverend John is, seeing that he is going to be with us for a while, and for you to get to know him. So Reverend John, welcome. Thank you, Stan. Great to be here. Great. So what have you thought so far? It's this different way of starting an affairs, isn't it? Well, I'm sitting here in this historic church, and I'm reminded immediately of the rich heritage of this church, its faithfulness through the generations, the magnificent windows that surround us in the church, the colors and the window of the 13th Battalion, the Royal Hamilton Light Infantry. It's a blessing for me, an honor for me, to be in this church with such a rich history, especially in these difficult times as we try and plot the future. Where is God going to take us, especially now faced with all we're facing in our society? Um, so tell us a little bit of yourself. Well, I'm a second career priest. I taught theological students for 25 years uh, in a number of colleges and uh, seminaries, and I've taught in Russia, in Ukraine, in Cuba. And for 25 years, I thought it's high time I started to put into practice what I was teaching. So I was ordained in 2001. And I've served in the parishes in the Diocese of Toronto, retired to Guelph, and now here I am in the Diocese of Niagara. And I've just been so blessed by the welcome extended to me by the bishop and all my colleagues here in this diocese. And so here I am. Great. So what's your family like? I'm married to Carolyn, who just retired two months ago from a public health nurse position. I have twin sons. Uh, one works for a national organization that helps the poor of our country. One's a physiotherapist. And I have a daughter in Korea oh, who is a specialist in Chinese foreign policy and lives in Seoul. So, um, what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? Well, <laughs> de facto, I guess, is black. <laughs> But my favorite color is the color you're wearing, blue. Oh, oh, good. I have a lot of blue things, including blue glasses. Okay. Um, so what do you like to do in your spare time, the little spare time that you might have? In my spare time, I read. I really enjoy reading, a voracious reader, and I walk. And being outside and walking is the, is the best thing I do in the day, I think. Good. Um, so, in light of, I know it's difficult times right now, you haven't met uh, the parish family. You've only met a few of us corporations and a few people that do things around here. Um, what is your uh, foresight into what, you're, what we are going to accomplish with you here? Well, it's interesting. I've been here for a number of weeks now and have never yet done a Sunday service, which is awfully unique. But I'm, I'm meeting gradually more and more of the people and getting to know a sense of what this parish is and it, what it's all about. As we look to the future, especially in these difficult times of uncertainty, the key is to maintain stability, to maintain the parish on, a, on an even keel, and to look towards the future. What is the future of this parish in this great city of Hamilton? And so to help the wardens, to help the parish council, to help the people look towards what's God's future for us. So a friend of mine who attends here thought it would be a wonderful idea. He said, Stan, when we get the okay to come back to church and have our first service, with our new interim rector. Perhaps maybe we all should sing the hallelujah chorus. <laughs> so that leads me into another question. 
I understand you have a music degree. Yes, when you get to our age, Stan, it's amazing how many things we've done in our lives. My undergraduate work was in music. Um, I, I served as a choir master in, in parishes in, in my earliest days. Uh, yes, my background was in music. And do you play an instrument? I was a trumpet major in university. Yes, that's great. Well, perhaps maybe uh, we could use your, your trumpet e expertise here at a service one time or other. Well, you know, I, I maintained it. Um, I played classical music and uh, other kinds of music right up until my first incumbency. And then being a parish priest, uh, I, I've had to let it go. Okay. And I miss it sometimes. Okay. Well, that is great. Um, so what else would you like to say to the people um, other than uh, what I've asked? Well, you know, God is present in every scene of our lives, both individually and corporately. And I find it interesting that this difficult season of our lives with COVID-19 comes during Lent. People ask me, even yesterday I was asked, what, what is Lent all about anyway? And the best definition of Lent I know is this, that Lent was supposed to be a time when we do a courageous moral self-inventory. And in this time of, of social distancing, in this time of things being closed, it helps us to get some time alone. And in that time alone to think, what is my life all about? Over the past year, have things crept into my life that ought not to be there? What should be taken out of my life? Have things been lost in my life that need to be there? What should I be adding to my life? So in the season of Lent, COVID-19 has made us take time to be alone. That's not always easy. To be alone and to look at our lives as we come back together when this is over. I pray that it's been a holy Lent for us, that individually and corporately as a church we can come back and in some measure found ourselves renewed, refreshed, and ready to encounter the challenges of the future. Well, you'll find once we're all back together and worshiping here as a parish family that there's a lot of faith, a lot of enthusiasm, uh, there's a lot of joy. Even though there are different stumbling points or different uh, paths that we all might be on, but when we're together, we enjoy each other and company and fellowship. So um, it is my indeed pleasure to welcome you into that fellowship here at the Church of the Ascension. And hospitality is one of our greatest, greatest assets here. So um, you'll never be without a coffee. Uh, you may not never be without a family. But however, we are so delighted and so happy Thank you, Stan. Let me say, as we move forward, the church is still the church. I am thankful for the technology that God has inspired people to create. And so as the church goes on in this difficult time, we're going to try and stay the church, that our community sense will still be maintained by technology. So each week, we're going to publish a morning prayer and a compliment for people that they can say at home, go through at, at home, and we're going to try and send some email blasts of encouraging uh, words to help us through this. And we'd encourage everyone each Sunday, while this time is going on, to tune into the Bishop's service on her Facebook page and now on YouTube. So Stan, we're gonna still be the church. Yes. Until we can meet together in this wonderful, church building. We're still going to be the church through technological means, so look for us in your email. Look for telephone calls. We're going to still be the church, folks, until we can gather again. So, my friends, uh, brothers and sisters of the Church of the Ascension, be safe, 
love one another, care for one another, and take time for yourself.